off round two of the LGM Series 2021 with Senior X30, Thomas Turner and Archie Tillett on the front row from Harry Platten and Joe Taylor, Reggie Dewey and Lucas Ellingham from Lewis Mackey and Sam Heading, Daryl Taylor, Ewan Wilson, Oliver Greetham and Piers Pryor, then Derek Morgan and Marcus Littlewood, Will Murdoch and Thomas Wood, from Oscar Joyce, Josh Graham, Louis Johnston Cool, JP Slater, Scott Smith and Dan Butterworth, Chris Bingham and Casper Scusa, from Adam Fitzgerald, Adam Colton and James Walker from the back. Our onboard camera is the man in pink. Forza performance, Piers Pryor. He's getting ready for the action. And Piers Pryor will be one of the ones to watch in these conditions. He is absolutely deadly in the wet. So Thomas Turner and Archie Tillett down the main straight. Are we going to get a clean start? We've got an onboard camera with Lucas Ellingham as well. Our race one winner yesterday. Let's race at Pierre International. Let's stay off the curb, shall we, Lucas? Oh dear, oh dear. And also spinning wide, that was uh, the 115 going with him, Marcus Littlewood. So Littlewood went off as well. On board with Piers Pryor. He's just driving around them. Doesn't quite have the speed to get around the 113 in the end, though. Has to let the SA Racing cart of Ewan Wilson go. But now he's getting back onto it. So Piers Pryor making good work of things. He's already up into the top six, is that by the look of it? Well, 101 Thomas Turner has got clear. He leads comfortably from Archie Tillett in second place. Then that is the 166 in third. That's Reggie Dewey doing a sensational job. We're on board with Piers Pryor. Wide line, cuts back in for the switch. Lovely move from Piers Pryor. 162, battling away with him. That's Thomas Wood. Making good moves through the field. Thomas Turner is trying to disappear already. So the 125 is in the mix there. That is Lewis Mackey up the inside. That is a big, bold maneuver from Lucas Ellingham. Trying to cut through on the 137, gets there on Scott Smith. And now trying to take on the 154. That's the gold chassis of Dan Butterworth. He gets there! Goodness me! And that's the MBR car to Mick Barrett Racing. Back on the inside comes Butterworth. Oh my goodness, it's hard to keep tack of all this. Absolute flotsam and jetsam in every corner. So Thomas Turner's well clear. Tillett in second. Dewey runs wide in third. Platten gets him, but I think Dewey got him back again on the switch. So Dewey back in the third position. On board with Ellingham. Send it to the inside. Lovely move on Butterworth. Butterworth going to try and come back at him in the gold chassis. Yellow flags. Yellow flags. We've got a spin. Now who is that? That's one of the Cosmics that's gone. I wonder if that is Daryl Taylor. Yes, it is. Daryl Taylor's gone around. That is such a shame. Daryl Taylor was looking reasonably good up until that point. But a spin now means he's going to have to do all the hard work all over again. So Thomas Turner leads comfortably from Archie Tillett. Reggie Dewey in third. Then Harry Platter, Joe Taylor, Sam Heading, Lewis Mackey, Ewan Wilson going well again. Piers Pryor in ninth. And Thomas Wood in tenth ahead of Oscar Joyce and Oliver Greetham. So an excellent run thus far. Look at them breaking into the Bobby Game corner where the back end of the car really wants to wash out and overtake the front. Still terrific racing, 12 and a half on the clock, plus the additional lap. Thomas Turner has got well clear of Archie Tillett and Reggie Dewey. Platten in third, uh, sorry, Platten in fourth. He's third in that train, but obviously Thomas Turner has already started to get well clear. There goes the 193. That is Will Murta trying to find his way through. No, sorry, Will Murdoch even. There are so many uh, people with the same abbreviations. Will Murdoch, of course, who is uh, Senior X30. Will Murta is the Iron Cadet. One day he'll be in Senior X30. But Will Murdoch doing a great job as he tries to fight his way back into the top 10. In there with Derek Morgan and in front of the 161 of Louis Johnston Cool. So here they come again. This is for fourth position, this little tussle. Platten and the two teammates, Taylor and Heading, in the S8 racing machines. Oh, sorry, the MDL machines, I should say. Very new colour scheme for this season. Looks pretty exciting though, Lucas Ellingham looks for the inside line, slowly, slowly, catchy monkey is passing both Lucas Ellingham and the 114 on the inside line there of Kasper Skuza, goes the 133, big manoeuvre but it works for Josh Graham, he gets there and now Kasper Skuza has gone and now Ellingham gets through, Kasper Skuza goes with him, great racecraft as they jockey for position. Nick one, pearl one, drop one, curl one. Here's Littlewood on the inside line. Nice manoeuvre there as he gets up the inside of Chris Bingham. And so Littlewood is starting the fight back as well. Thomas Turner is on a 1.14.8, the fastest man on track. Still trying to get away from the rest of the pack. And stretching out the gap to four seconds over Archie Tillett. This is a masterclass drive from Thomas Turner as we go back towards the front end of the field. 
Picking up the middle of the pack. There is the second place man. Archie Tillett trying to get well clear of Reggie Dewey. Here's Piers Pryor about to lose out to Tom Wood. Tom Wood looks for the inside line. Can't oh, make it stick. Piers Pryor keeps it. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. I don't think that was quite what uh, Piers Pryor had in mind. Piers Pryor puts his hand in the air as if to say, hey. And Tom Wood puts his hand in the air and say, sorry. Yeah, but you still gave, you did, still didn't give me back the place, mate. That's what you're meant to do. You gained advantage by contact, but you didn't give me back the place. So Piers Pryor sorts it out on his own. Takes back the overtaking manoeuvre. And Tom Wood very nearly loses another place there to Oliver Greedham. So Greedham now has Derek Morgan behind him, then Will Murdoch. Then there's Joyce and Johnson Cool, the two premium carts. They're having a great tussle. On the inside comes Johnson Cool. Oh, thanks, says Lucas. I'll have you both then. Brilliant as he dives through on the inside. Total opportunism. Gaspar Scusa picking up a place on Oscar Joyce there as well. Oh, Lucas Ellingham nearly loses it completely. On the left-hander towards the final corner. Absolutely chock-a-block as they slide through. So absolutely brilliant racing. Piers Pryor again taking that wide berth through the climb up the hill, through the left-hander. Oh, and a big slide. That was very nearly off the road there for Oscar Joyce. Piers Pryor goes deep into the corner, jumps back across on his opponent, Oliver Greetham, and Greetham is now falling into the clutches. Ellingham! Ellingham with a warning flag. Oh dear, you've got to be careful, Lucas. I know you're trying to make a comeback as Piers Pryor goes very wide and somehow keeps the place. That's incredible. Now here comes the move from Greetham. Pryor goes out wide, loses two places, gets back on the inside, takes one of them back to Wood. But Greetham has definitely got the place away from Piers Pryor this time. I love racing in the rain. You get so many different interpretations of where the racing line and where the grip can be found. It's absolutely sensational to watch. And the change of dynamic from apex to apex is fascinating to behold. So Wood is trying to shake off Derek Morgan. Morgan is all over the back of him. Now you've got Greedham battling with Piers Pryor. Thomas Turner, a new fastest lap, 1.14.8. Just under eight and a half minutes, plus the additional lap to go in this A final for round two of LGM 2021 here at PF International on a pouring rain, sodden, soaking wet bank holiday Monday. Big slides all the way through the field. There's very little grip to be found, but those who are patient can find it. Just got to have belief, cool, calm, collective attitude. And a little bit of fortune to go your way. Here's Derek Morgan trying to shake off Tom Wood. He's just got past him. He doesn't want Tom Wood getting back through. They go deep to the hairpin. And there's good traction off the turn for Morgan. So he holds the place behind him. The 193 of Will Murdoch trying to get a little bit closer to them. Trying to make his move. Thomas Wood not close enough. So he just has to let Derek Morgan be for the moment. Into the chicane. Left. Up on the curb, right, and up towards Bobby Gay. Look at that, you can't see a thing at the moment. Absolutely torrential weather conditions here. Seven and a half, plus the additional lap to go. Piers Pryor hanging on in there. He right on board with Piers Pryor. Looking back, that's Derek Morgan. Back on the power, Morgan trying to find the move. Looks here, looks there. But the Jack Dex Racing driver's going to have to find something else. Down the straight see just how much water there is in the air by how sodden the camera lens of that 360 degree camera is the Piers Pryor goes out wide loses initially to Derek Morgan but should get him back on the exit now here is the battle for the lead oh no no it isn't I thought Archie Tillett had caught up to Thomas Turner my apologies it's completely not the case because that is the 196 of Adam Colton being lapped by Thomas Turner such is Turner's dominance that is absolutely extraordinary there is Archie Tillett Running seven seconds back in second place. My goodness, Thomas Turner absolutely jigging to the victory. Just uh, absolutely skipping at the moment. Here's Piers Pryor still locked in this duel with Morgan, Wood and Murdoch. Excellent driving from all four of them to remain in the hunt for position. Morgan gets a good run through the chicane up on the inside of Piers Pryor. There he goes. So Derek Morgan goes through. Takes the place. Pryor gets him back on the inside, does he? Oh, there's a twitch and a wobble. Morgan will stay to the inside line. Oh, and a big lunge through from Tom Wood, but Pryor holds it round the outside, and that's how Murdoch gets through past Tom Wood. And joining the fray behind them, that is Lucas Ellingham. He's already had a warning for his troubles earlier on in the race. 
but this must be so frustrating for Lucas Ellingham after yesterday when he did such an incredible job. Now he's in there fighting for 11th position. Runs wide in frustration. So Thomas Turner having an absolute cruise control style race in the lead. He's gained another half second. Pierce Pryor with the warning. Naughty boy. Up on the inside, there's Ellingham. Ellingham gets the move on Wood. Now tries to shut the door, but Wood is already there. Now he's able to get that door permanently closed. That's the thing, you can't just squeeze a driver and run them off the road. You have to leave them enough room so that they can still have racetrack to play with. That's the difference. Oh, a big opportunity from Will Murdoch and Pryor. But Pryor holds the position. So Murdoch tries again into the chicane. Pryor gets the line. Up on the curbs. Up towards Bobby Gay. Here's Pryor still holds the position. Not bad at all. Deep into that square right-hander. Very tricky in these wet conditions. Here's the battle of a second. Reggie Dewey is caught right up to Archie Tillett. The gap ahead is eight seconds. So I think this race is definitely one for second place, not for the victory. But there is Colton about to be lapped. And here's the duel for second between Tillett and Dewey. Platten is there in P4. Fifth position, Joe Taylor in front of Sam Heading, Lewis Mackey, Ewan Wilson, Oliver Greetham, and Derek Morgan now in 10th position. Reggie Dewey trying to find his move. They don't trip over Adam Colton. That's well read from both of them as they get through into second and third positions on the road as well as on the timing screen. Because obviously they were lapping Adam Colton there and he did the right thing as well. Got right out of the way. Does the same thing again for Harry Platten, I notice, in the background. Reggie Dewey piling on the pressure to Archie Tillett and that's Will Murdoch going off. Will Murdoch off the circuit, so I think that's pretty much his race over. Reggie Dewey on the inside gets in a second place. Excellent work from Reggie Dewey. And yes, indeed, Will Murdoch has pulled off the circuit, so he's out of it. Reggie Dewey up to second now past Archie Tillett. There's Will Murdoch. I think you know once you've cut half the circuit, the, the penalty you're going to get is so gargantuan. He wasn't able to rejoin the circuit in the right place. That's the problem. So it's out of the race for Will Murdoch and Reggie Dewey up to second past Archie Tillett. Look at Reggie Dewey just chucking the cart into every corner. Here's Piers Pryor, Lucas Ellingham knocking on the door. Get out of the way, get out of the way. I'm faster than you. Here goes Ellingham. Ducks down in the cart. We've got a camera on board with him as well, don't forget. And again, pushing Pryor. Not quite physically, but certainly thinking about it. He runs out wide. Watch how he gets the traction back up the hill. Look at that. Excellent from Lucas Ellingham. Tom Wood passes him. Ellingham passes him straight back again. That's the difference in the lines around that particular corner. Once you feel comfortable with something, that's what you stick to. Archie Tillett's losing ground now to Harry Platten. Platten is catching very quickly indeed. So Harry Platten might just get into third position before this race is over. Lucas Ellingham tries again to close up on Piers Pryor. Breaks very late. A bit of a twitch from Pryor. This is a good opportunity for Ellingham. Look how much time he's gained. Here we go. Ellingham to the inside. Thank you. And thanks again, Tom Wood. Oh dear. That got very close. That's a little too close between those two. So Ellingham in behind Pryor. Pryor drifts out wide from the corner. Oh, there goes Wood again. But this time Wood shuts the door. There's no way I'm letting you have that back, mate. No chance. So now we've got that battle still. Climbing and growing at crescendo. Taylor and Heading running in fifth and sixth. We haven't really seen them in this race because they've been so quiet in the top six, just getting on with it, really. So here is that battle for third position. Archie Tillett. Here comes Platten. I don't think Tillett's going to squeeze him enough. Platten to the inside. Thinks better of it. Gets traction out of the turn. Archie Tillett still holding the line, though. At the end of this lap, there will be two to go. With time running out, then the additional bonus lap on top of it. But is there going to be a change for third position between Archie Tillett and Harry Platten? Platten is doing everything he can to make it happen. Up towards Bobby Game. Now we're on board with Piers Pryor a little further back. Oh dear, oh dear, that's not, that's not what you meant to do there, Piers. He lets the 148 go clean. That is the uh, slower cart that they're lapping of James Walker. And Walker just gets him straight back again on the exit. No thanks, mate. That's not what I want to give you. Go up and over the curbs again. A minute to go as uh, Reggie Dewey crosses the line in second position. So there's going to be two laps to go, including this one. 
There is Joe Taylor in front of Sam Heading. As I said before, the MDL twins have just been very, very quiet all day long, really. They've got themselves into the top six. They're not losing ground. They're not really making enough of a gain on the podium to challenge for it. But they're doing a sensible job. They're keeping the cart in the straight and narrow. They're not making any mistakes. So this will do quite nicely for these two boys up in front. Fifth and sixth position. But Thomas Turner is nearly a dozen seconds clear of Reggie Dewey in the lead of the race now. Reggie Dewey second, 1.3 clear of Archie Tillett. Harry Platten still going for that third and final spot on the podium as these two, Joe Taylor and Sam Heading, work in unison as they run in fifth and sixth position, looking to start their LGM campaign in 2021 in the top six in the wet. Very good work from both of them. On board again with Piers Pryor. Still we battle with James Walker and still Walker will not yield. Walker is not happy at all. Now he goes wide. Goes for the switch back on Pryor. Gets the throttle. Oh, and he's nerfing him. Well, these two clearly feel that they've got to settle their differences on the racetrack. Goodness me. Has anybody given these guys the rule book? I'm not sure they've seen it recently. Because they're still panel beating each other around every apex at the moment. And these two are experienced drivers, James Walker and Piers Pryor. I think this is a bit of, right, have a bit of this. Then I'll give you a bit of that. To me then, to you then, to me then, to you then. They come off the final turn and Walker's got clear now. Final lap for the leader. Thomas Turner's way out in front. Archie Tillett hanging on in front of Harry Platten. But is there going to be an interesting challenge for the drivers? Is there going to be one final moment for Harry Platten? It looks as though Archie Tillett is under investigation. Now I'm not sure what this is for. But Archie Tillett looks like he could have an investigation. Oh, it sounds like that he's gained an unfair advantage somewhere. I didn't see it, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. So Thomas Turner is coming through to take an absolutely dominant victory. He obliterates the field here. Reggie Dewey's going to come through in second. Will Murdoch watches on rather dejectedly from the sidelines as Reggie Dewey comes home in second place. Archie Tillett's going to cross the line in third. But I'm not sure if he's going to be able to keep that because, as I mentioned, he is under investigation from the stewards for gaining an unfair advantage. That is uh, C2.3.2 on the rule book. So uh, they've got to be very careful. Thomas Turner taking the victory. Look at how many drivers are still trying to splash their way home. It's been a very difficult day at the office for many of them. But they've given us plenty of entertainment. Marcus Littlewood trying to fight back. Thomas Turner taking the victory. A dozen seconds clear of Reggie Dewey. Harry Platten is given third ahead of Joe Taylor and Sam Heading. After Archie Tiller is indeed given a five-second penalty for gaining an unfair advantage. Lewis Mackey in seventh place. Ewan Wilson is eighth from Derek Morgan. And Oliver Greetham, who himself picked up a five-second penalty, was originally ninth, drops to tenth. Thomas Turner, not only pole position, but fastest lap, led every lap and race win. That is the dominant way to start his 2021 campaign in Senior X30 in the LGM Championship. He could not be more dominant here today. Hopefully next time for both the camera crew and the drivers, it's gonna be a bit drier in LGM. I certainly hope so. Not the best conditions for filming in. The uh, podium looked like this. Thomas Turner, Reggie Dewey and Harry Platten with Thomas Turner taking a two point championship lead forward to the next round. We hope to bring you more action from LGM later in the season. Join us then.